I'm Brian Dangerfield, the head of G10FX Strategy for the U.S. at NatWest Markets in Stanford, Connecticut. Today, I'm going to discuss the results of the Iowa Democratic Caucus on February 3rd and what we think that means for the Democratic uh, race and the presidential race, as well as for financial markets. Looking at the partial results from Iowa that we do have, Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders have an early edge, while Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden are in third and fourth place, respectively. We don't think Iowa provided a lot of certainty for market participants around who the eventual nominee from the Democratic side will be. First and foremost, based on the partial results we have, it doesn't appear that any of the candidates are going to eclipse 30% of the vote in Iowa. Put another way, it's not obvious that any one particular candidate really secured a frontrunner status in Iowa. At the same time, the fact that the results were delayed has really muddied the narrative coming out of Iowa. There's been much more media focus on the botched results than there has been on the actual voting itself. This could reduce the ability for the eventual winner to gain a significant momentum bump coming out of Iowa. Because there's no clear front runner coming out of Iowa, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who was not on the ballot and won't be on the ballot until Super Tuesday, may be able to claim that he was Iowa's biggest winner. Turning to financial markets, what we're looking for is political risk premium. Put another way, we're looking for signs that U.S. assets are pricing in additional risk to compensate for the possibility that economic and regulatory policy changes dramatically in November. To this point in the cycle, there has not been meaningful signs of political risk premium priced into U.S. assets. That might relate to the fact that we are currently unclear about who the Democratic nominee will be, and certainly different nominees have very different perspectives on the relationship between government and the business sector. It's also possible that we actually left Iowa with less certainty on who the eventual Democratic nominee will be than we had when we came in. Thanks.